What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft stipulation. So the stipulation this time is from JoJo M. Key, Captain America Draft, in honor of uh, the, the Captain America issue 100 that I showed off on the stream yesterday. I should have been smarter and brought it over here, and then we could have shown it off because it seems like that would be a smart thing to do if the stipulation is in honor of it. However, Draft America, Just Guy Colors, Planeswalkers are Priority, aka Super Friends, as well as soldier creatures. This is, there were some misspellings in here. Flavor text is a super plus, makes Than proud. This is like the worst pack for this stipulation. I'm tempted to just take Mana Confluence. All right, let's actually redo. Okay, that should take care of some of the... No soldiers. Oh, this is a soldier, ironically. I was going to lean towards Mana Confluence because it's fixing. Mm. What did Lamagoyf say? Frank's thoughts on gates and guilds. I like cereal. I like potatoes. Yeah, that's pretty much, yeah, I think that nails it. I think that nails it. What are your feelings on goats? I, I like goats. Thank you. Hammerfo, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. What do I take here? I think it's Confluence. I feel like it's, I, I feel like we want the, the Tri-Land. I'm going to take the Tri-Land here. Three colors, it's kind of, it's kind of important. It's an important thing. You are a knight. You are a monk. You are a land tax. This pack, uh, not not great. I think it's just here a blade hold. Nah. We are Jeskai with a, uh, a priority on planeswalkers, but I haven't really seen any planeswalkers here. Swords of Plowshares is one of the best. The smallest seed of regret can bloom into redemption. That's a good. That's a good flavor text. I don't know if it's particularly. Um, see, smallest seed is some alliteration, so I can I can throw that into a Stanley uh, a Stanley flavor text. Thanks again for the content. Good look, Hammerfo. Have a good uh, Have a good night, buddy. Thanks for cracking out and 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 tossing a sub. Oh, I like a colonnade. Colonnade. Speak a little, do much. Ooh, that's a good, that's a good mantra. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, pretty sure it's calling it here. Uh, three colors, like I said, you want to, you want to make sure you got the, got the duders, the landy boys. Okay. The purpose of any mode is to impede attack. Some are filled with water, some with thistles, some are filled with things best left unseen. Like buttholes. Is it just spell queller here? Search for Ascont is good. Hmm. My daughter runs in the room shouting Alexa play <gasps> Then runs on screaming lamp. That's actually pretty hilarious. I hope she didn't hear me. Yeah, it goes water, thistles, buttholes. I think it's just spell queller. I it's either spell queller or like none of these other cards. Or search for Ascont is very, very good. Speak much, do little. God, Chris is so chatty, but he never gets anything done. I'm gonna go spell queller. Alesh Norn. Hmm. I don't think it's figure here. Jitte's just so good. I haven't seen a single blue card that I like. <laughs> Chris, I'm pretty sure that's not accurate. <laughs> oh. Alexa, forget that I said buttholes. Hmm, I don't know that one. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> I'm going to take the Jitte. I think I think Jitte is significantly stronger than... Uh, not significantly stronger than Leshnorn, but like... If we have some kind of some amount of creatures like Hero of Bladehold and Spellqueller, I think it's just going to get in there more. and It's going to do a lot of work. I'm going to take this uh, Inspiring Vantage. I like Soulfire Grandmaster... 
Especially if we end up hitting... Oh God, the time warp. So good. I'm going to take the soul fire. I think the upside on soul fire is just so much higher. Uh, face fetters is nice. Direfully Daredevil again, like I said last last draft, if you guys caught it, was um, the upside again, just like Soulfire Grandmaster, is that like if they have if they have a time walk, if they have, um, what do you call it, like uh, an ancestral recall, you get to cast those things, which is nice. I forgot to tell you, I'm watching The Office for the first time. I almost don't see Chris. What do you think? I literally have been rewatching The Office. Uh, it's for like the second or third time because it's just it's such a fun rewatchable show. It's such a it's such a light hearted like easy show to watch I hope you're enjoying it if you're almost done with season 3 then you probably are I would hope oh control magic alright cool season 1 was rough I think season 1 was one of the one of the harder seasons just because they were still finding their footing I declare bankruptcy! <laughs> um, Michael, you can't just say bankruptcy. I didn't say it, I declared it. Okay. You can't, what do you mean you can't bring yourself to deal with the office? Like, you can't get into it? Like, you've, oh my god. The inspiring vantage comes back as the last card in the back. That's gas. Dak Faden. Ooh, Dak Faden is a Planeswalker. And our first Planeswalker. I don't think we're playing this, but I'm going to leave it in here in case we until we find better options. I would love this Tundra. But I imagine actually one of these three Planeswalkers will come back. So I'm going to take the Dak Faden. And maybe we can find a second. I declare your face. Hmm. I like Metamorph here. Ugin is good. He's like a granddaddy, but I don't know if we're going to have a... Uh, we're not going to have the mana for an Ugin, I don't think. We're not green. We're not ramping. We don't have any power yet, so I think I'm leaning towards uh, Metamorph here, which I have not taken in quite a while, actually. Hmm. I mean, I literally thought Pester might because we are in, in Jeskai, so. I don't love days. I'm not superstitious. I'm just a little stitious. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that show is gasoline. Smuggler's Counter could be good here. We got a bunch of little nerds. I don't think it's mana. I think, I think Smuggler's Comptor is probably better than than Mana Tithe here. Yeah, I'll take this. Oh, tell she Chris I said hi. Tell her I miss her. You're going to go here. And then we're going to take Elspeth because she is the superest of friends. And this pick's pretty easy. Oh, a plateau, eh? Hmm. Hmm. I do like the alliteration for Arcane Artisan. But I think we want to fix our mana. So I'm going to go with the Plateau. Even though we already have... We have Sacred and we have Inspiring Vantage. If we want to play something like Thunder Mount Hellkite, I think we want to actually be able to cast it. There is the Splinter Twin. Which is extremely fascinating because there's also a Steam Vents in the pack. I think we do just take Twin. I think Twin is strong enough to take here. Especially if we get the Resto or the... Uh, well, not the Resto, but the Pestermite back. The Restermite back, I guess. If you Sword of Fire and Ice is nice. Heroes have weapons. Charter Course? Mm, probably not. 
Although it does say when other while other pirates prowl for treasure, Captain Captain Parrish plunders secrets. It does have Captain in the name. Frank, I'm still angry. What are you angry about? Oh, are you angry about the Richard thing from earlier? Because that's pretty hilarious. It's one of these two. Let's go with sword here. I think that was kind of a 50-50 pick there. It could go either way. Is it Rabble Master? Hmm. I like Rabble Master with Smuggler's Copter. That's actually pretty nice. Well, we can try that out. Who goes for breakfast an hour away from a venue at a sit-down restaurant? When did this happen? What's going on? Billy, I need some more context clues. Recruiter of the Guard is a soldier, and it's also not too bad. Uh, what is this, toughness? Toughness two or less. We can get this. Uh, Rabble Master, Metamorph, Kitchen Finks, Soulfire. Yeah, it's actually not terrible. Young Pyromancer is actually not bad. In general, I don't think it's great in our deck, actually. We have literally one spell, I think. But I don't know if it's Swift Spear either. But Pyromancer has a higher upside, I think. Mana Tithe comes back. Of course it does. Brimez is a cat soldier. I'm okay with it. Seems good. Collective Defiance? Sure. The Tundra did not come back. Neither. This is the most, this is the most like, cut I've ever seen blue in the cube. The, the Pestermite did not come back. I'm gonna put you in the sideboard for now. You were, uh, you were, uh, we hedged on you. This morning we were gathering stuff, and Richard said he wanted breakfast at like 9 a.m. while most of the group was sleeping. We start doing carpool pickups at 11 a.m., and he goes and gets breakfast at this ratchet place, breakfast place. Their food takes a full 45 minutes to get to them, and they ended up being late enough we couldn't. Oh my god! Billy, you didn't even get to play today? Hey, Kithian comes back. That's great. Look at these. Uh, look at this soldier. Mox Jet. Why? Why can't I? Why can't you be an on color Mox? I'm three colors, and you're gonna make me open the Mox Jet? Come on. Come on. Come on. There's a batter skull. We do have a Jete and a sword. Stone Forge would be very, very nice. Then we leave and drive home just to see the pictures the store posted, having the store's owner and employees playing in the. Went. Wait, where? At cool stuff? So we, well, because we like waited an hour. They added the event was delayed an hour. I'm going to take Teferi. I'm going to take Teferi over Mox, which is super weird, but Teferi is a super friend. There's a six mana Elspeth, which is just fantastic. Yeah, we're gonna take this six mana Elspeth. We're gonna get real friendly. I'm really hoping for two signets. Can I get two signets up in here? Is that too much to ask for? Two signets on color? Let me get an Azorius and a Simic. Or not a Simic, uh, and is it? So wait, like we played in the event though, like three of the people are always named anything the TO and told people that he wouldn't be able to add anyone they were in the event playing after we left. What? That's weird. That doesn't make any sense though. Why would they do that? Jace Bellerin and uh, Pia and Kieran Nalar. Emrakul the Promise then does not seem like a hero. Jace Bellerin, however, <sighs> double blue is so rough for this deck so far though. We're going to have like 30 islands in the deck and then a bunch of like white red fixing lands that all produce white and red. We're definitely not cryptic commanding.
I like a worm coil engine. We don't actually have many top end cards. I don't see those. Remember those signets we were talking about? I don't really see any of them. Hmm. Fascinating. Sneak attack's pretty good, except for that we have no creatures that are really sneak attackable. Sneakable and attackable. Oh man, just give me give me some give me some fix in here. I feel like we're just we're really high up on the. I don't like recruiter here because we don't we can get the splinter twin pieces, and everything else seems decent. I don't hate sorcerer spyglass. I guess I don't see any planeswalkers here. Sword is decent. Thing in the ice, like Captain. Actually, that's that's actually a solid uh, solid reference there. I I'm kind of okay with that. I'm almost tempted to just take Selfless Spirit because we don't have that many creatures, but maybe not. I'll just take Spyglass for the sideboard. I think it's okay. Hollowed Fountain is very nice. Let's take a Hollowed Fountain. All of our lands, our fixing lands are white so far. I feel like we're going to be very, very low on uh, planes and and very high on everything else. Guild of Lotus actually doesn't seem terrible in this deck. We have a lot of three drops, so we can actually go Guild of Lotus into like Brimaz or Kitchen Finks or Sword or Jace. Or Rabble Master. There's only two cards that we can't cast off of a uh, Gilded Lotus. And let's be honest, nothing else in this pack is really great. Oh, Ojutai. And a Palace Jailer? Oh, man. It's like they're just trying to... I passed it before you even... Like, I read your... You didn't even... I didn't get this. I didn't get to see anything. Whatever that means. I didn't see your message before I before I passed it. I think Ojutai is probably better than Thundermaw Hellkite. Or it's probably better than Angel of Invention. Actually, Thundermaw just wins games, but I think Palace Jailer is pretty nutso in the butso, as it were. Is Palace Jailer a soldier? Oh, that's even better. Batter Skull comes back? I'm pretty sure it's Council's Judgment. Or Mother of Runes? Nah, it's not Mother of Runes. It's probably Council's Judgment. It's just such a good removal spell. We can probably cut Faith's Fetters for it. Yeah, let's do that. Also, Rekindling Phoenix would have been good. It could have been like a... It could have been like a Phoenix reference. However, we're going to go with Council of Judgment. And Council's Judgment and pretend it's the Council of Reeds. What was your name? Is your name Nutso in the Butso? Is that your name? Because in that case, yeah, I think someone mentioned you. I wonder if this is a wildfire deck. I don't think so. Oh, she makes soldiers. Hero Bladehold makes soldiers. So actually, it's pretty good I knew there was a soldier connection there somewhere I'm going to cut Angel I need to make one more cut might be face fetters here since we got the uh, council's judgment <laughs> so uh, can you go over what you might have been thinking here I'm going to take Kithian out the problem is I don't think we're actually likely going to swing with Kithian and uh, still be able to flip it oh I like does Flicker Wisp good here? We can just reset Planeswalkers, reset Kitchen Finks. Reset Palace Jailer. Reset Metamorph and Control Magic. It's not terrible. This dip isn't complete until opponent casts Genesis Hail Hydra bits. Genesis Hydra. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I don't think I don't think Hydra's actually in the in the deck. Or in the cube. Hmm. 
We're gonna go here. This deck actually looks decent. Yeah, Gideon's a soldier, but I'm not just gonna play it because of the soldier. I mean, like, it doesn't mean it goes goes well in the deck. So as far as soldiers and planeswalkers, like I think we have a good amount here. Mm, this could be anything. This could be whatever you want. Hmm. Flickerus might be better than Kitchen Finks here. And I actually like this Selfless Spirit because it just gives us something to do on turn two. It also helps saving things like a Brimaz or a Hero of Bladehold. Our mana looks actually pretty decent. Could just take out Gilded Lotus. I think it's actually fine. I was, yeah, I was thinking Phyrexy Metamorph was uh, Mystique, but it's actually probably a scroll. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is 12. Let's go down to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's go up to 8 there. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, I like that. So it's 10, 8, 7, I believe. Let's do it. Uh, I don't really want to cut Soulfire Grandmaster because I want to have two drops. Plus, like in the late game, if we get to just flashback Council's Judgment like 15 times, that's cool. That'll never happen. Or Swords to Plowshares, like five mana to, to repeatedly sword something. I mean, if we hit lands here, this hand is all right. Brimaz into Elspeth, which is pretty good. Council's Judgment to get rid of things. I'll deal with it. I mean, this is, this is let's be fair, this is a pretty fair deck. That's a good one. This is where they go like turn six, turn three, uh, Grave Titan, and we're like, well, that's a good, that's a good dude. Turn three, Frost Titan, that we just can't ever deal with in the history of magic. Because I'm Metamorph, they're Grim Monolith, which is pretty hilarious, and then we can just play Elspeth next turn. It's either you, you, or you. Those are our options. Those are our options. Those are our options. Ingachu would be, would be gas. I don't like you having this, but I mean, I'd rather just have one of my own, I think. I mean, this, this presumes that you're not going to just counter it anyway. Oh, they didn't have anything. All right. Well, I mean, Grimmauld is just a scary card. Three mana just chilling, just hanging out. That ain't okay. Are they Storm? Is that why they have Monolith and Grixis colors and they haven't done anything? Because next time we get to Sword of Fire and Ice, which is two of their three colors, which is mm, pretty okay. Is where they just do it? No, nope, didn't do it. All right. All right. Oh, Dak would have been nice when he had the Grim Monolith out. Unfortunately, our deck is not super tuned for Storm.
Please acknowledge my council's judgment memes and please acknowledge that you don't currently have lethal. <laughs> okay, I don't have, currently have lethal. And your meme was so many things in this format think they can't be dealt with dealt with by dealt with council's judgment exists things in this format. Oh. Hold on. So many things in this format think they can't be dealt with. Council's judgment exists. Things in this format. Surprise <laughs> Pikachu. Yeah, okay, that's a solid meme. That's good. I the breaks were the only thing that were, were confusing me there. I just had to I had to parse it correctly. Oh man, look at this. You're not you can't even win now. Well, that's okay. I'll just time twister. Well, time twister. Here we go. Boo. No. All right. No. You gonna retap these afterwards? No. Okay. How often do you draft your cube? How often do you update your cube? And how blinged is it? It's not blinged at all. I actually, deliberately. Uh, made sure to make it non-foil and non-promo because I want it to be accessible to everyone. I want everyone who plays the cube, no matter how how new you are to Magic, to be able to know what every card does. And I also don't appreciate the warping that foil cards have, so I don't want like two or three foil cards in a, in a 400, 300 card cube because then it's super noticeable when you have those. So for me, it was either all or none. And I just went with none because I think it's just probably better. I think we're dead. You know what? I'm going to be real with you guys. I wish I'd just take Storm out of this cube. I don't think it's fun. I don't think it's interactive. And, like, it's not like it's not like Constructed where you can customize your sideboard to beat the deck. If you don't get the cards for Storm to fight Storm, which aren't even that plentiful, you just lose. And, eh. I mean, it can whiff, sure, but, like, yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't think magic is enjoyable when you're just hoping your opponent doesn't win. I hope you don't. I hope you don't do it. And they didn't do it, and that's kind of funny. And we have like so many dead cards too, which is kind of comical. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have twelve mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can deal nine to you right now. That's pretty sad. Man, I really wanted that deck fading. Sad times. I have Kiki Twin because creature removal is just plentiful. Like, you can, every deck can have creature removal. You have ultimate price. You have really cheap one to two mana creature removal, and I don't think it's actually that problematic. We do get to draw a card. I think we're probably just going to play Rabble Master here, and then. Actually, can we attack with this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We can put them. To the, oh, God, we're so close. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna play you. One, two. Pump you. Activate you. I think we're gonna put them to two here. That's sad. Oh, we put them to one? Oh my god. Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. Is there any way we could have done that differently? I don't think so, man. Do we not? Do we play a land this turn? Oh, we played an island. Sure. So we have four mana. I guess we just play this. Can we flicker with something that's relevant? 
I guess we can flicker wrist the chrome mocks and like they have to Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, like, five turns ago. I wanted to have more bodies on the board because we didn't actually know exactly what we were up against. But they can't Vampiric Tutor now. They bargained under here. Sure. My one damage is going to be so frustrating, dude. Is it ever anything other than a yikes if it's from me, dog? Um, That's a nope. Yeah, you can have a nope from me, dog. That's a nope from me, dog. Yeah, it's usually a nope, a nope or a yikes. Those are the two. Brian, I thought I mentioned it. You literally asked me the last time and I told you what was going on with the hot one step. I was not sure. Because like I told you that like I tried I tried uh last stab and I almost threw up and it was like extremely painful not like in my mouth but like literally it upset my stomach to like an like an awkward uh an awkward amount and I went over all this yep this is frustrating You thought I tried it again? No, I haven't. I haven't tried it again since then. I had, I, nope. Did I say the bomb? It was actually last stab. I tried last stab again. So they have six and they can cast this for seven. Yeah, I don't know how we're not dead here. It's kind of obnoxious. <laughs> Thunder one. Oh man, pumping this would have been the made the stick with ketchup and mayo for hot sauce. Get your gentle protect. It wasn't my tongue. Like I was actually in my mouth. It was fine. Like it was obnoxious. It was obnoxiously hot. But it is like it's a, it's one of the hottest hot sauces. But it wasn't like my mouth wasn't having a problem with it. It was literally my stomach. Like I just my mouth was salivating and I felt like I was gonna vomit. And uh, it's weird because that was not the reaction I had the first time I tried uh, the last dab. Yep, this is eight and this will be nine, so. Always a pleasure. Let's get Relic Order, let's get Spyglass, let's get Mana Tithe. Palace Jailer, Control Magic. Hmm. Grandmaster is not great. Collected Defiance seems reasonable. Swords can come out. Bring a Collected Defiance. Face Fetters. Mm, it's not great, but we don't have that many more things to cut. I just want to bring all the life gain because it just makes Tendrils so much harder to like go off. Maybe Soulfire comes in, Kitchen Finks comes in. We can take out Rabble Master. Take out Flicker Wisp, actually. Maybe you tried the second to the last step previously. That might have been the problem. Maybe it was just like, well, this isn't the last last dab. It's the second to the last dab. I'm like, oh. Well, Biscuits. I used to drink last night for breakfast and eat your mom's toes for lunch and shotgun a whole liter of Pepto-Bismol for dinner. That's not how you spell that, but... And be dead by dawn, so suck on that. Cringe, 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 Surprise Pikachu. Yeah, I mean, that sounds about right. Yeah, I can't argue with that, I guess. Oh, I gotta cut one card. Dang it, it's too late now. Uh, I will keep. Ooh, 
we do not have a goblin guide. We have... Uh, oh, we do have a goblin. Where did we get the goblin guide? I didn't even see us get that goblin guide. That's a sneaky goblin guide. I was going to say the same thing, but Elktir's beat me too. Yeah, he's quick. You got you to be quick, Brian. You got to be a quick boy. Oh, you're just going to win this turn? Oh. Hmm. Wow. If only we kept up Mana Tithe here, huh? I mean, I wanted to have our blue source so we can play Dak Faden, but... I'll block. Well, we're just gonna play that. No. I mean, if you really want to trade a, a Dark Confidant for a Soulfire Grandmaster and we gain two, that's totally fine with us. Oh, Rakdos is returned. Well, that's a thing. All right, so I mean, I'm not going to play these lands just because I know about them and they have Rakdos's return. So I'm not going to like play a worse land that could get discarded, or right, while the while the good ones get discarded, just so we can play around Rakdos's return. Or just so we can play around the, the knowledge they have. I'll get the sentence out, don't worry. I mean, even if they don't forget it, still, they still have to play a little bit differently. Yeah, for six mana, we can actually play Mana Tide, Mana Tide, and that's just basically a rune snag. With no other rune snag. Is it wrong that Rakdos came back, but Mike's B's dad didn't? Oh, yeah, it's completely wrong. Unless Rakdos is Mike B's dad. What do you guys think about that? I had, like, the perfect meme for that, but hold on. Let me do it. I'll do it anyway. I'm like, what if Rakdos is Mike B's dad? Something like that. Oh, no attacks, huh? All right. Seems good. That's a dude. That's a dude. One, two, three. One, two, three. We'll go with this one. Do we even attack? They just block. I'm good without. They get so lucky. Is the sound word super quiet in general? I'm about to bust. Weird. What if I put it all the way up? I'm about to bust. Hmm. If I do something else. Let me know if that's still quiet. It's still super quiet. Have you streamed a review of the new set or do you plan on doing so? I actually plan on doing so this week with Rob. With Rob, the uh, the swole mic. Throw us grandpa. Okay. Wow. How did the team even go? No bueno. No bueno. I punted two games. I like I okay, so I'm, I'm gonna go on a rant here. I don't even actually like paper magic that much anymore. I play much worse in paper than I do in magic online. Fascinating. B 
big if true. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do one this week sometime. I have to... Tuesday, I'm getting LASIK. Which I'm actually... I'm kind of apprehensive about. It was a pretty weak rant. I was like, you know, I don't even know if I want to go into it right now. So, they're going to get discard these anyway. I might as well make them spend their last mana to do it. And, um... Tuesday, I'm getting LASIK. And uh, the rant was that I don't like playing Paper Magic, and I punted twice, and I just feel like I feel different playing Paper Magic. Like, I never, I never go for it because I always assume my opponent has it. Where Magic Online, I take more risks, I think. So they block here. They take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see what happens here. Block here. Because it's four and four, so like you, you, you block the one you're in. So four, five, six, seven, eight, sure, you go to two. I'm just going to play a land here. I heard if you get LASIK, you cannot go into space. That's interesting. Grandma got the LASIK a while back. Aren't you? If you're a grandma, how does your how is your grandma still alive, Tequila? That's insane. Uh, they do not put you to sleep. It takes about 10 to 15 seconds, apparently. Frank Hungry Hero employees the fiscal word for digital world, magically speaking. Yeah, like, I haven't played Paper Magic. Like, people are like, hey, I haven't seen you at Church Thought. I haven't seen you at your local store recently. And I'm like, yeah, I don't really play a lot of Paper Magic. Like, it's just better and easier for me to play on Magic Online. This is where they just always have um, Yawgmoth's Will. They put the card they want into the graveyard with Entomb. Then they Yawgmoth's Will. I hope you had a Merry Christmas. So, like, one, there was one situation where my opponent was at 15 life exactly, or 14 life, or 11 life, or some, some total less than 15. And I played Blue-Red Through the Breach. So, it's basically like a Blood Moon deck with Through the Breach and Emrakul, right? And they had a Drake... And is it Drake, a crackling Drake, whatever. And they also had a thing in the ice in play. And they were pretty much tapped out. And I knew they didn't have any, like, counter spells or anything. So, I go through the Breach Emrakul, and I swing. And it's going to leave them with two lands, and that's pretty much it. Because they have to block with the Drake, they have to sack everything else, and they get two lands left. So, what is that? Two lands plus six perm. So, they had seven lands total and a thing in the ice. So, they sack a thing in the ice and five lands. Um, what I could have done was Lightning Bolt the Drake, play Anger of the Gods to get rid of the Drake, and then just win on the spot with Emrakul. But I was too conservative in real life because I didn't know what my opponent had. I, didn't, I felt like they could just do it and they could just go off. But, um, yeah, and then I just ended up losing that game, unfortunately, because... Okay, so now they can... Oh, they should have Cabal Ritual first, right? Because then they would have had Threshold. So. I mean, I think we're still dead. Like, it never... It's never... Storm is never fun. So I knew... Like, I knew I made the mistake, right? And it, it sucked because I was like, well, I'm on a team, so my mistakes are not even only my own here. They're, they're the whole team. So that sucked. And I knew it immediately, but I was like, too, I was like, you know what? I don't want, you know, what if they have something? I don't know what they have. You know, and it could put us in a weird position. I don't know. I just didn't like. I also play faster in in paper than I do in uh, Magic Online. Like, I'll I'll draw my card, I'll play my land. Like, it's it's real. I'm I'm kind of autopilot in paper, and that definitely has to do with just not playing as much paper Magic because it definitely um, it definitely has an effect where I'm like, okay, well. Sure.
where I'm just not as proficient with like tapping cards and playing cards and doing all the things. Wow, can you imagine if we drew like a way to kill them here? <laughs> I have no graveyard, right? So you just have to have like tendrils here. I do. I definitely need to play more paper, but I don't think I even have to. Like, I don't really even want to. I'd rather just play MTG Arena and Magic Online. Sure. Cool. Always fun. Always fun to watch you win at one life and two life. Anyway, so that happened, and that was round two. Round one, um, they had Goblin Guide, and I had... I Serum Visions for... There were two cards. I put them both on the bottom. What I should have done was put a Sulfur Falls on the top, so I just get it for free when they attack with Goblin Guide. And I get to a point where they're at exactly 15 life. And I have through the Reach Emrakul in hand, and I cannot find a fifth land. So they just win. They're, they're playing Burn. And my, my window is so limited. But, um, yeah, I just didn't have... I didn't have the fifth mana when I needed it when I could have I could have kept the land on top and gotten it for free. And the reason was like it's also a vantage point thing. Like when I'm playing magic and paper, like my vantage my Thank you. the thing I'm focusing on is here and their board is over here, right? So it's not actually as easy to see. Brian, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'll keep that on top. We can go two drop spirit. Right, so like it's it's weird because like I'm looking down and I'm focusing on my lands and my creatures, but on Magic Online, like it's a lot more right in front of me. I don't know, it's weird. It's it's I process it differently. I process like Magic Online and Paper Magic when I'm viewing the two games. I process them differently. See, like, and this, all the information is readily available. I know they have one swamp. I know they have seven cards in hand. Like, everything is easily, like, I can glance at it and look. Whereas, like, in paper, someone could be holding their hand like this. And I'm like, is that, that could be ten cards? That could be one card? I really have no idea. That was actually a good draw. I want to play this under the assumption that you're probably just going to make a guy next turn. And by a guy, I mean a rat. I'm watching this through paper internet. <laughs> Aren't we all? Aren't we all? So, like, I knew the two mistakes I made in both of the games I lost. Like, it was just that I, I went too fast. Like, I, I saw the plays. I knew what I could have done differently. And uh, it sucked. Like, it just wasn't... And then we left after O2, and I was just like, I could have just been, like... I could have been doing something else right now. This is a lot of ratty, ratty boys, or uh, gobby boys. I mean, they're gonna block here with one, and then they'll probably, they're, they're probably just gonna take five. That's eh, fine. I mean, they, they end up with one rat, so. This sounds like it was Rob's fault. It's very possible. Oh. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's just great. I trade one Robin Master for two pack rats. Oh yeah. There was a pause at the end of the main phase, and I'm like, I wonder if they realized that uh that was gonna work that way. Well, that's unfortunate that you would do that. Give me a land. Thank you. And we're the monarch. Deal. Also, Flicker Wisping Palace Jailer? OP. I declare monarchy! <laughs> uh, you can't just declare, you can't just say monarchy. Triggered. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. They're at nine. Pretty sure you just keep up spell queller. This when it leaves the battlefield, when it dies. So they didn't actually get the card.
But it does put five uh, little five little powersies on the board. That's a good card. I mean, to be fair, like if they kill, if they end up being the monarch, it's combat damage, right? Yeah, whenever a creature deals combat damage to you, yeah, that doesn't seem super likely. I mean, if they go like mountain thunder mile hellkite, I guess they can they can get aggressive here. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't care about that. I got gobos for days, my dude. What we can do is actually play Spellcaller, and I think it's lethal, right? Like, we, we play Spellcaller, they block here, and they take two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or we can just kill this, I guess. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're just going to Council's Judgment that. I'd rather know about Council's Judgment than Spellcaller. We can also just tuck it with a Teferi. Tuck it with a tiff. However, if they do have days, it's not good. Yeah, that'll do. If they can't touch you, then you get if you if you come at the king, you best not miss. Jailer wasn't designed for one we've owned. I mean, not really, no. It was in the it was in the conspiracy set, which was meant to be drafted and played multiplayer. So I don't think it was designed for 1v1 because I don't think the monarch mechanic was designed for 1v1 play because it's kind of it, it creates all this tension between different players. And um you know, that's cool. That's a cool thing. God, I kind of like mana tithe. I think we're good. I, I don't think we've seen enough. We saw like two cards, right? We saw like Shieldred and Solemn Simulacrum and Chupacabra and Packrat. That's all the cards I saw. And Putrid Imp. That's all the cards I saw. And <laughs> keep going. I only saw 15 different cards. Hmm. Trigger. This will go in tomb and then next turn necromancy. They did not do those things. Really? That's rude. I don't know, man. Sword seems pretty good against this deck. I'm just going to play that. Not sword, control magic, rather. That's what I meant. That's what I meant to say. Well... Jailer is not legal in modern, so I'm not sure... Young Ram, I'm not sure what you're referring to. Bone Shredder is ready. Oh, big Tefs. I mean, we're both playing a, like a slow kind of grind. We should have played Sacred Foundry because if we draw any basic, we can play basic, not take damage. I'm not super concerned with it, but it is uh, a nice thing to consider. Sand seems very good against a reanimator deck. Corpse Dance and Exhume are the two. Like, I like that you don't discard any of your big fatties, but instead you discard two reanimation spells. That's a good place to be against the reanimator deck, I think. Teferi is the evolution of Clefairy, right? Yeah, you can tell by the look. They look very similar. Book all. They're gonna reanimate that Bone Shredder and kill our, our Thundermon Hellkite, but... You know what I you know you know what that's just life guys. 
Life is getting your your Thunder My Hellkite killed by a Bone Shredder. They also probably just have Ravenous Chupacabra in hand. That's going to be my... <laughs> yep, there it is. Shallow Grave for a Bone Shredder. What a time to be alive. I mean, it's a removal spell, right? Like, using Shallow Grave is just a go for the throat, so that's fine. Damn, boy! He thick! Boy! That's a thick-ass boy! Damn! But Putrid Impo. What about this guy? How do you feel about this guy? Let's draw a card. Let's play a vantage. Alright, well they didn't do anything there. Oh, Frixian Arena? I'm going to gain control of that, for sure. Just kidding, I don't have a way to do that. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I kind of just want to tuck this, to be honest. And then we can Spell Queller it. One, two, three, four. We also have seven mana, so we can actually Council's Judgment Grand... That actually seems insane, right? Can we just do that? If Paralyze were modern legal, would it see play? Um, maybe. I mean, one mana to, to tap down any creature and then four mana to untap it. Four mana is pretty unreasonable. So it's basically like a one mana, like it's like the, it would be like a black lightning bolt or path to exile. Yeah, I'm going to tuck this. Life is getting your Thunder Mile Hulk I killed by a bone shredder. <laughs> That's a good quote. I mean, I think it's applicable to a lot of different, uh, yeah, a lot of different feelings and a lot of different emotions. That you may have. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. I know it's a good quote. That's why. I quote, wow. Getting a little aggressive. Why don't you just take it easy? You're gonna get rid of my Tef. You're gonna get rid of my Soulfire Grandmaster? Come on. I'm tempted to just drop this spell queller like it's hot. I don't think we have to though. We're probably just gonna counsel his judgment this Karn, I think. Oh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. That's sad. We can keep up spell queller, I guess. Oh, we're gonna untap with Teferi, so we can actually play Council's Judgment on the 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 dude. I'll choose this guy, this fat idiot. Hey, be me to be dice to card. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna keep up Spell Queller. Lafof, what's going on, buddy? Good seeing you. Okay, so and okay. If we had one more land, I would actually equip this and then play Spell Quiller, but they have one card in hand. They're probably going to draw Phyrexian Arena this turn. Is that correct? Frank, I've done the greed choice. What's the greed choice? Be nice to Karn is right. It's too late. He's dead now. No attack? That's fascinating. I see. Well. Wow. 
I gotcha. Oh, so you like vote and you hope they don't see it? That's super greedy. Yeah, like you're like, I'll choose Imp. And they're like, oh, I guess I'll get rid of my Karn. And you're like, haha, joke's on you. <laughs> Boys, let's talk about this. <laughs> let's talk about this onslaught of, of power. If often I came to Florida, would we be welcome guests on your stream? What kind of mics would we be? Honesty stream, relevancy zoning. Uh, so the thing about the mics is that you have to let chat decide. And uh, if you guys came to Florida, you would be welcome guests in my home and in my stream. And uh, if you guys wanted, you could stay here. I would, I would find a way to make it work. But... Um, yeah, I, I can't I can't actually choose what mics you would be. Like the chat usually chooses. It's like the it's like the council of chat. Don't effing move. What does that mean? Oh, you are you coming right now? I'm going to need some evidence, buddy. Thank you. Water Sports Drew 16 months in a row. Welcome back. Hey Frank, just stopped in to sub before I forget. It's late, so I'll see you on the on the team. Drew, have a good night, buddy. Thanks so much for the uh the quick stop in. The pop in. Oh, yeah, you're going to do this. You're going to be the Library of Alexandria guy, huh? Okay. That's fine. I'll be the selfless spirit guy. Arguably, my guy is worse. Oh, a Findhorn Elf, eh? Okay. We can just play this. We're not going to actually do anything to them. God, Library of Alexandria. That's a fair magic card. Sometimes when I, think of, when I try to think of fair magic cards, I'm like, Library of Alexandria is definitely at the top of that list. Chat, would you go fund me to get a Lafof and I tickets to Florida? Tanos or Kerwit, holler at us. We would provide the most amazing entertainment. Okay, so the thing is, you spelled Kerwit wrong. So, one of my recommendations for anyone out there is if you're asking someone for money or charity spell their name correctly that's my that's my suggestion if they play <laughs> i see well we'll just have to put a stop to that won't we I'm not going to make the greedy choice. Sorry, Corwin. <laughs> Frank, can I have a dollar? Frank, oh, God. Here we go. Frank Lamar, can I have money? Here we go. Here we go. I mean, they're drawing all the cards, but they're not doing anything. I mean, the thing is, like, I could actually probably get you guys a hotel and flights. It would probably be under, like, 800 bucks for, like... I mean, you guys could probably send in, like, a $60 hotel, $70 hotel in the area. You know, just because it's cheap. Not cheap, but, like, just because it's not, like, a major, major metropolitan area is what I mean. Like, Clearwater's not, like, Tampa or, like, Orlando. Um, and so, like, for how many nights? Like, three nights? So, like, what, 70... Like, 210, and then, like, flights for both of you guys, right? And... 
I don't actually think that's unreasonable. I mean, I bet I bet the stream, like, I bet we could get that done if you guys seriously were interested in it. I think I just want Palace Jailer to block one of these guys out. I would literally drop every... Well, it has to work for Lafof too, right? So we have to, like, coordinate something where you guys would both be able to get here together. Like, I could not drop anything faster. And I figure... I'm only saying a hotel. You guys are more than welcome to stay here for free if you want. Um, but, like, we don't have a guest room, so, like, you'd have to sleep on the couches. One of them is a love seat, so a little bit shorter. But, I mean, like, also, we could probably just get a cheap air mattress, and you guys could stay on the air mattress. One, one on the couch, one on the air mattress. So it really just depends on what you guys want to do. Oh my god, it's Hungry Howie's live on stream time. I'm so excited. Can this palace shell resolve? I'm definitely getting rid of this. I don't want you to ever get back Eternal Witness and get a trigger off of it. And also, uh, you only have three lands here. So if I take one of your one of your land boys. I promise not to touch your speak. I don't believe you though. That's the problem. I'm going to fly you to Cleveland and put you up in a semi-most semi most seedy hotel. And then we can go to the strip club and throw forests at them because you know paper. Yeah, that actually sounds legit. I would, uh... Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. Can, why can't my palace jailer resolve? I'm wondering, is there a glitch? Are they going to, are they going to force, a, are they going to force a will it? They did not force of will it. And we get to draw an extra card. Like if they have, they have strip mine, like that's fine. Nah, that's a good card. And if they want to go strip mine on another land when we have the monarch in play, I'm more than okay with it. Yep, that is fine. I'm probably gonna steal it and then uh, do a thing. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I guess I'm not going to steal it. Yeah, 100% blocking. I want to face fetters this, but it doesn't really stop the problem. So I'm actually just Hero of Blade Hold here, but then we have to block this if they crack the clue. So I'm going to actually face fetters this guy. And then they have nothing on board, so we're going to probably draw at least two cards from, from the Monarchy still. Wait, what's going on here? Only seven hundred ninety nine ninety to go for the Elk Tears All Caps Streamathon. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. Yep. We can go one, two, three, four, hero, and then play Wandering Fumarole, which lets us keep up 
control magic. I feel like they're really hindering themselves with this strip mine nonsense. Like, they're at 10 and they have 4 mana. 4, 5, 5, uh, usable mana, and we have a control magic to untap with. And against the mono green deck, I feel like that's pretty good. And then while I'm away. Frank, I think it's safe to say that Foff and I could easily find a time slot that works for both of us. Three days sounds like a perfect amount. Yeah, I guess Foff doesn't really do anything that's really, like, time committed, right? And I don't mean that, like, any sort of offensive way. I just mean, like, I feel like his schedule is pretty flexible. Oh, my God. You guys waking Mike be up every morning would be friggin' hilarious. We could also... <laughs> we could probably CK Wyatt and, like, just do some do some pranks on him every morning. My god. Oh god. Oh, you're gonna put the face fetters back. And then you're gonna search for a creature card, sure. I mean we're hundred percent blocking this guy. They can't actually crack a clue so we're just going to trade and I think that's probably worth more than them being the monarch I feel like this has been built up way too much to not do it Does that is that fair to say you think Just gonna get a little wrecked. They search for excavator, like sure. I mean if you keep want you still wanna keep strip mining my things, like knock yourself out, I guess. One, two, three, four, one, two, do, 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 do. And I'm tempted to just attack with Fumeral. Like, they have to block something, right? So they, if they block one of the tokens, they take three, eight, nine, ten, they die. So they have to block either this or the Fumeral. So they lose their Wall of Roots. It's very hard to keep up with the chat right now, guys. Oh, man. Oh, man. I thought it was Dragosi. That's actually hilarious. I was like, I thought it was you. Let's just play this, dude. And we'll play a, we'll play a Plains, because I don't want them to kill the Mana Confluence, I guess. Your deck is so good. I didn't actually think it was that great. Uh, Battle Cry always on the bottom. Battle Cry on bottom is what you got to say to yourself. Oh, I should have flipped. No, it wouldn't have mattered, right? Because if you flip it, it still gives it. I actually don't know how that works if you flip it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so they still have to block one of these two. It's fine. Oh. Oh, no. 
Why would you do this? Does it become a 5 1? No, 4 2. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, they go to 1. Well, that's some that's some biscuits. Uh, I still feel like we're way ahead, right? Like, we make two more soldiers. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six things on board that have to be dealt with. And we are the monarch still, so we're just drawing. We're actually drawing more cards than the library, I would imagine. Battle cry on bot. I don't even know if that makes any sense. <laughs> is what you gotta say to yourself that's what you gotta that's what you gotta do alright eh, you got it you got it I'm just gonna have six here I don't have any responses I have no, no activated abilities turn one mox emerald to birds of paradise library go that seems bad <laughs> We just won the game. Get wreck nerd. <laughs> Got him. Oh, good times. I kind of want this mana tithe. God, they have crucible and. Oh, we're just bringing in this guy because I don't want to deal with some crucible nonsense. Take out flicker wisp, I guess. Even though I do like a, a floaty boy. I kind of like Spyglass on... We also have Library of Alexandria. Actually, Spyglass seems decent here. Nothing personal. Guys, you know what I'm going to do? I'll submit with 40. I was going to submit with 41. I was like, eh, forget it. Eh, I don't love this hand. It's pretty rough. This hand, like, doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh, God. I actually like this hand better. Any one land, and we have a Rabble Master slash Spell Queller. Unless, of course, they strip mine it. They got one strip mine, man. That's a that's a card. Oh, well, we hit it. Oh, we need actually now we now we can only do this. We need another white source. Let's hit that hollowed fountain. Sorry I stepped away when you cast Palace Jailer. I had to take care of something for my son, affectionately named Jace. <gasps> oh my god, so many people named their kid Jace. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I was getting furious. I was going to report you for being rude. <laughs> okay, this is a lot of nerds, but not really much else. Okay, yeah, okay, all right. Probably just going to keep up uh, Spell Queller here. What do I got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, crying out loud. Here comes like Terastodon, and we're like... Oh, that's like a million mana. Okay, we're definitely blocking the tree speaker here. I feel like we're past the point of being able to counter anything, so... We're basically countering the tree speaker, right?
Let's get rid of this mystic. I think we could get rid of excavator here, which is good, but I don't think it's necessary. I'd rather just keep their mana constrained here because now they can't, this is just break even. So they only have three, four, five mana now. And we can block both of their guys to, to remain the Monarch. And we can also Teferi and tuck one of these guys next turn. Because every time I target him with a hug, he disappears. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, God. None of this is okay. Oh, why don't you have any artifacts? Can you get some artifacts real quick, please? Preach. One, two, three, four, five. I think we actually tuck the Remy Nap Excavator, because if they just have to draw that, it's really not terrible. Plus, we have two blockers. Block, block. And we get to draw another card from being the Monarch. Man. What a time to be alive. I'm not sure about whipping things out live on stream. Oh, good. It's going to be... Oh, we can cancel judgment. The progenitus. Oh, my God. It's going to be amazing. I'm about to bust. Oh, my God. Protection from everything, huh? Got him. That was definitely rude. That felt rude. Oh, that's a good card. Holy biscuits. We can also just we're gonna we're gonna actually untap with Tefri, which lets us keep sword up, which is nice. Let's play one of our other super friends. The council says otherwise. The council has decided. Let's get rid of Relic Order and Rebel Master before we before we see anything else. Those will be our decisions. Oh, I actually do like these guys better. Now we can at least get in there with the gentleman. Draw a card. Wow, they progenitus us and we had Council's Judgment. This is why Council's Judgment is so OP in this cube. It deals with literally everything. True Name Nemesis, Pro White Cards, Progenitus. Come on, guys. I'll block. Don't come at me, bro. Getting saucer on the later than usual stream, yeah, a little bit. I just had to, I had to, I had to fill some, some days, for days. Um, yep, easy to get rid of. Easy choice. Easy, easy choice. Easy choice. Easy choice. Easy, easy choice. Easy choice. I'm just gonna keep saying easy choice because it's super awkward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So nine mana total to work with here. 
but only eight in our main phase, right? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, only seven in our main phase. We actually play both of these untapped to keep up swords. I don't think we actually need Jace here. We could also just metamorph the, the Thunderbolt Hellkite next turn. That's pretty good. I'm pretty sure we're saving the swords for this Nissa when she tries to flip. But until they like play the land and it triggers, I don't think we actually need to worry about it. Those be good gentlemen. <laughs> they are not terrible. Uh, let's attack Garrick and let's attack your face. Are there be gentlemen? God, we have drawn so many cards from both Teferi and Dak Faden that it's it's unbelievable. What's it gonna be? I don't think we're terrified of any specific card here. I think we're okay. Eternal Witness is kind of frightening, but it's like we can't really do anything about it, so I guess we'll just have to... Okay, Natural Order, number dose. <laughs> Forever. I don't know what else they could have. Terastodon, maybe? Like, blow up, blow up, blow up. Really? I mean, we have Metamorph, which is pretty sick when with, with whatever they natural order. Oh, the, uh, the Progenitus gets shuffled back in. Oh, they did not get a Progenitus. Oh, no, it got exiled. Never mind. That thing's gone forever. Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. However, busting out the old Phyrexian Metamorph to copy a Woodfall Primus is pretty, 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 pretty good. Thank you. Team Jaybro, what's going on, buddy? Oh, the Dak Faden instead, eh? Pro Charge, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Jaber, are you MTGO to go? Is that who you are? Because <laughs> that would be insane, dude. I actually had Wendy's today. I think Wendy's is pretty much top tier of the fast food. Good news, I made a deal with my wife and I cut two comics from my box so I could maintain this. <laughs> wow, that's actually pretty sweet, man. What comics did you cut? Um, Getting rid of Tef, huh? Yeah, we're not going to let that happen. Let's draw... Oh, here a blade hold, huh? Hundred bullets is still going on. Wow! I used to have like, dude, like ten years ago, I used to have all the. I mean, I still have, I still have them, but about ten years ago, I had the hundred bullets trades like one through seven. So it's it's a it's amazing to me that ten years later, hundred bullets is still going on. What issue are they on? Brian Azzarello has been killing it. I didn't even know hundred bullets was still around. Stray bullets, not 100 bullets. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Because apparently 100 bullets ended in April of 2009. So, Frank, I made a deal with my wife. I watch you whenever I want and she moves out. Well, all right then. That's something. <laughs> all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll have eight mana. Can play this guy, copy this, this fat gentleman, and then we can actually swords it. What is that? One, two, three, four... 
This is a Jeskai Chion Stip. So we can source it with, with the extra mana that we have left over. They have one card in hand. If we get rid of this, we're definitely copying it, right? I just want to see if we want to waste the, the mana or not. Uh, or the life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we do four... If we do it for three, we can actually sort of fire an ice on one of these guys, too. Yeah, let's do that. So we can go one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. And then we can actually shoot the Nissa, and then we don't have to worry about her anymore. I don't have to worry about you anymore, Nissa. I'm gonna copy Wood Woody McWooderson. Let's get rid of your I'm gonna get rid of the Nykthos. Because its potential is a lot higher than just basic forests. Equip this to your small boy. Oh, we could have just won the game, is what you're saying? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. But this is still lethal. Like, I mean, why are we why are we getting upset about it? Boop! Yeah, Team J Bros got like 75 trophies. I'm like, oh, I just got my sixth trophy. I'm kind of a big deal on the Magic Online. I don't know if you've heard. But to be fair, like I experiment a lot more in the cube, I think. I uh I do a lot more. And people were like, I, I got a comment in my in the YouTube section yesterday, and they were like, You need to you need to watch more Luis Louis more L S V drafts to learn how to draft. And I was like, I'm not trying to do what Luis does though. Like I'm doing a completely different thing. Like I'm doing stipulations. I try to have fun and experiment a lot more. And, uh, you know, I, I understand that this doesn't lead to, to all the wins, but I think I'm fine with that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. And you can check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. If you don't like them, which you will, because I haven't heard anyone complain about MeUndies, you can just return them for free. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time.